cool. So what you're seeing here right. is, um, yeah. What's up, Dabs? I oh, shared it. Perfect. No, go ahead. Yeah, okay. no, you're good. I was going to say, let's just run it. Yeah, let's run it. Um, so, yeah, what, what we see here, guys, is the main uh, landing page for Jumpstart. And the main landing page is where you're going to be able to view all the current campaigns that are running on the selected network. Right now, we're on BSC Testnet. Uh, we will be cross-chain launching on ETH, BSC, uh, Matic, and likely uh, Crow as well. Um, and so whatever network you're on, this page is going to show all live campaigns, running campaigns, um, and even completed campaigns, recently completed campaigns. Um, and so what we're going with with Jumpstart is we're trying to uh, be one of the first decentralized NFT crypto powered crowdfunding platforms. Uh, we feel like we have a really good start here and uh, we want to show you some of the possibilities of what could be done with Jumpstart. Uh, right now, uh, the crowdfunding industry is a multi-billion dollar industry with big companies like Indiegogo, Cripstart, uh, Kickstarter, and GoFundMe raking in billions of dollars a year. Uh, our goal is to be one of the first to market on the, uh, on the crypto side and just get a big slice of that pie and just help people raise funds in a decentralized way um, through an awesome, easy to use interface and platform. Um, let's check out one of these campaigns. Uh, let's check out the, yeah, the, the, the miner. And so anybody that has an idea, a business, a project, uh, a DAO, a group of, a group of friends that want to put something together, um, they'll be able to actually jumpstart those ideas, raise funds all in a decentralized manner, um, with jumpstart. And so this first example here I got. Um, we actually pulled this from a live Kickstarter that's raising, you know, hundreds of thousands and, and possibly, I think, millions of dollars to build a MOBA game. And so this this MOBA game is called Crypto Mining War, and you can see we built this all with a self our self service portal, um, and you can kind of see what it's going to look like. At the top, you can basically show videos or images. Uh, right now, this one has an image, but you'll you can actually upload videos um, and, and kind of a little presentation. If anyone here has checked out Kickstarter or seen one of those campaigns. Um, we're basically one-to-one -one with Kickstarter where you can upload videos and ads and, and just kind of show people everything about your project or product. And so right here, there's going to be a share button as well. You can share this around. Um, you're going to be able to see how much has been raised, the percent funded, how many different backers, days left. Um, if you scroll down, you'll be able to present a nice story that kind of engages uh, our users and kind of basically attracts them. You know, we, we, you want to have a really nice, attractive, story that can garner the most backers um and what's going to be what's going to happen is we're offering some very similar to kickstarter is this concept of tiers uh, and if you look over here on the right each tier is an nft and so you can have up to five tiers on our platform each tier being an nft that you can mint and the mint goes to supporting the project and the campaign the campaign owners will get the mint fee um and then the NFT holders will get an NFT and also whatever other perk the project has signed. Um, for, for example, in this guy, we're just offering limited edition NFTs, but uh, um, I think on this, the actual Kickstarter, these guys are offering a video game, you know, early access to the site um, and a, a bunch of other cool perks and features. And, and we have the ability to facilitate all that through NFTs and cryptocurrency. So we just kind of wanted to show you one of these. And if you, when you go on here, you'll see each each tier, you have the ability to approve. And then once it's approved, the, the icon will switch to mint and you'll be able to mint the NFT. So let's just mint one of these, uh, Crypto Buddy, and, and show these guys one of the NFTs. And so uh, very similar to, to Kickstarter, um, dur the campaign during the campaign duration, uh, basically all the NFT mints goes to a smart contract that holds the all the mint money, all the fees collected, all the money collected is held in a smart contract until the campaign reaches completion. Once the campaign is officially ended, and if it, it has was successfully funded, um, we will release the funds, and the, the campaign owner can go in and collect the funds. If for whatever reason the campaign doesn't get fully funded. Uh, the, the NFT, the campaign owner can just click a single button and refund 
um, activate the refunds, and anybody that came in here and mentioned can, can, can collect their, their refunded money, and the campaign can try again. And you can see on screen here, we minted, took our 500 sidekick, and boom, we have an NFT. Yep. And so um, we can put one of these campaigns together in about you know less than 10 minutes if you have the material. So let's kind of just go up here and show them the edit and show them the, the forms and, and what it looks like when you're creating a campaign. So after you've created a campaign, because this is an already running campaign, you're not going to be able to edit a lot of fields, but you will be able to edit a few things. Uh, let's go. Let's, can we can we click on the basics tab up there? And you can see this is an awesome awesome UI, super easy to use. Up here we have the different levels, and it's kind of like your start to finish at the top, where it says starts off with the basics, then it goes to content tiers, contact launch. Uh, the basics is going to be your basic information. This stuff is going to be all the all what shows on the actual campaign page on Sidekick. Um, a, a bunch of different questions. Uh, one of the key things to see here is the ability to rate to do a fundraiser in Sidekick, right here. Um, so at launch, we're going to be able to fundraise in in major coins like BNB, uh, BUSD, Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, and different other stable coins that we that we think are 100% stable. Um, one of the also the features is the ability to raise funds in Sidekick. Anyone that raises funds in Sidekick can receive a 15% discount on fees. So we kind of have an incentive, and we really want people, you know, to raise funds in Sidekick because that just helps our transaction volume and helps the community overall. Um, so we can see down here at the bottom, after you put in all the basic information, you choose your campaign goal. How much are you trying to raise? Uh, for this guy, we have five million Sidekick, and then we have the funding cap. The funding cap is an important part because based on the funding cap is whether or not your campaign will be successful. Uh, right here you see we have the toggle all the way up to 100%. And if you look, it says there's a 15% discount for using 100% funding cap. And this is very similar to Kickstarter, although Kickstarter doesn't have a discount. But Kickstarter, uh, they, incent they, they encourage people to go 100% funding, hard cap, meaning if your goal is 5 million sidekick, the campaign isn't successful unless you raise at least five million sidekick, and the reason for that is it kind of it, it encourages the campaign owner, the the campaign creator, to really support and market and promote their their project so that it gets becomes 100% funded. Not only does it uh, incentivize the campaign owner to go harder and have a more professional and just thorough campaign, it also gives the backers a little bit more um, confidence in the project, knowing that. Hey, if they don't reach the goal they need to be successful, we'll be fully refunded, and it's 100% uh, no risk. So uh, we really love this feature. Uh, you can obviously slide it all the way down on a, uh, and go zero cap, but you will pay full price. And like I said, um, you're not going to look as attractive to to the to our users. Uh, let's go to the next page. Content. So content right here, we have the toggle set to photo. But again, if you just tap that toggle, you can actually upload a video. Um, and had, have a full-on featured video uh, shown for your campaign. Let's throw a video on there and see if it'll update just, just for testing's sake. Yeah, just throw a YouTube video. And so this is what's going to display on the top of your campaign. Uh, as soon as everybody jumps into a campaign, they're going to see this video or image. So you really want it to be attractive. You want it to look really awesome, uh, be really creative. Give it a second. Uh, but So scroll down as well. So we have the story section below. So the story section is a full-on WYSIWYG where you can actually add uh, GIFs, images, and 100% custom text to make an awesome-looking uh, story that's branded to your company or project. So we really love this thing. As you can see here, we were able to get a lot of cool things. And this is pulled directly from a live campaign on Kickstarter. And we wanted to really make sure that what, what you can do on Kickstarter, you can do on Sidekick Jumpstart. And that is the case. And we're super excited to get this out for everybody. Um, so cool. Yeah, let's just go to the next section and show them the the tiers, the way to, that we can add in NFTs. And so here is the concept of tiers. And like I was saying earlier, a tier maps to an NFT. So for every tier you create, we will actually create an NFT contract on chain um, with the specified parameters that you input here. And this is actually uploading the image to an IPFS server. So this thing is fully decentralized. Once you mint, you have your own fully decentralized NFT. Uh, and once you mint your NFT, it'll be shown on our Sidekick Jumpstart site. But technically, you could also build your own website and integrate it there. 
Uh, you can integrate this into your own website. It'll be fully integrated into OpenSea and all major uh, NFT marketplaces. We used um, sorry. We use the major um, NFT standard that's being used by all major NFT marketplaces right now. So again, once you mint your NFT and your collection with us, it'll be fully integrated into all other NFT sites and marketplaces. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So like, yeah, let's scroll down and look at the supporter pack. This is an, a, a cool example. You can set your symbol, the name. Right here is important. You can set the price of the NFT. So whenever someone mints, that's how much you know you'll be you'll be collecting in. And when you're setting the prices of your NFTs, you really want to make sure that you're thinking about it uh, and thinking about the total you're trying to raise. For example, if you're trying to raise 5 million sidekick, you don't want to set the prices of your NFTs and the quantity to a point where you can't even raise 5 million. Promotional pricing is a cool feature. Um, if you want, you can set a promotional pricing, which if you guys are familiar with the sidekick network, we have this concept of uh, a dump tax. And so this is kind of the opposite. It works in the reverse. It's a promotional pricing for when you launch your NFT, you can actually have a cheaper mint price for a certain amount of period of time to kind of encourage people to really go in and mint on, on launch day. So I thought that was a really cool feature that we added. Um, scroll down here. This is where you set the actual NFT image. Uh, and so right here, you'll be able to actually upload whatever your NFT artwork you have, you've had created for your tier. You can upload it right here. Um, and then below this is where you actually set the perks. Um, every perk, every NFT obviously comes with a, a unique image. So that's the first perk. Uh, the other perk we have right down here is redeemable ticket. Let's see if it'll let you click on that even though it's an edit. Will you know? Okay, that's because that's it's already created. So the concept of tickets is really cool. Um, it's this concept where you can actually offer a certain amount of tickets for each NFT that each, each user that mints from your campaign on our site. So if you wanted to say, hey, uh, the first 100 people that mint this NFT get special a special ticket that has their perks inside of your system, you could do that. And it's a really popular trend right now on OpenSea, uh, Foundation App, and, and tons of other NFT uh, marketplaces that's going on right now where people are offering tickets along with the NFT. So we really wanted to have that and kind of really come to market with what's going on and what's trending, and we're really excited off of that as well. Um, down here... As well, additional perks. This is the section right there where you'll actually be able to add in all of your own custom perks that you're offering for your project or idea. So, for example, if one of the perks is if, if you're building a private DAO and one of the perks is whoever owns that NFT gets access to your private Discord or private Telegram server, that would be an additional perk that you can add in. If, you have an, if you're going to be doing fee sharing of any kind, that's an additional perk you can add in here. And you can have as many perks as you like for your NFT. Um, and then we have uh, some other basic information like description, quantity available, uh, max mint per transaction, max mint per wallet. We wanted to add a couple safety features so that, you know, one user didn't come in and mint all the NFTs at once. Um, and then right here, we have contact information. Um, we're going to be targeting businesses and real world use cases and products. So uh, you can stay decentralized and, and you can stay anonymous if you want. But if you do want to contribute to a project that has real life value and, and products, we have this ability to inf inf enter contact information um, so that people can basically get in contact with you if they need help with their shipment of their product or, or whatever you're working on. So, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Once you have all this information, you go to the contact form right here on the next page. Um, and we do ask for contact information. We're not verifying anything. So if people put in uh, fake info, they could. But again, if you want to get doxxed, if you want to get, um, if you want to basically uh, verify and get become a verified project, you know, you're going to put your contact information. You're going to get in touch with us because we will offer verification services and, and verified badges on the site and promote projects that are verified um, and trusted. Um, after this, you go to launch, and basically you'll be able to set your start date, your end date, and you'll be able to hit the preview link and catch a preview before it publishes, and then you'll be able to publish. Yeah, this is the preview link, and it looks just like what we were showing. 
bada bing. And as you can see now, it's got the video that we just changed and uploaded. So that's cool. And bam, you're done. Um, so let's go back to that. Close this. Let's go back to the final page. Once you once you get to this final page and you're ready to publish, uh, you, once you hit publish, there'll be a fee. And that will be a fee in Sidekick. And uh, once you hit publish, you'll pay the Sidekick fee. And you'll pay the um, the gas fees. And your contracts will be created. Your campaign will be created. And immediately after you publish, your campaign will be visible on Sidekick.finance. And I mean, this short, quick walkthrough, guys, is how that's just, that's how quick quickly you can get a campaign up and running, and have people minting on our site, and you collecting funds for your project. Hey, looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, and so we're really excited to get this thing out, man. It's what we've been working on for the past few months. I mean, I hope you guys can see, you know, how good it looks, how well it's working. Um, and it kind of reflects the work we've been putting in. Yeah. In, in this uh, uh, example, you can see the disc, the discount. Yep, exactly. Yeah. It's super sick. And, and you know, and we're going to keep adding on, you know, this is just our V1. So where we're at right now is we're actually ready to launch. Um, this next week, we're going to be doing, we're going to be calling up and uh, scheduling meetings with everybody who's reached out to us to launch on Jumpstart. Uh, we have about 10 different projects that we're going to be going through and talking to guys and making sure they understand how it works, making sure they understand how to use it best, making sure they know how to create everything, all their assets and materials, um, and basically setting these guys up on testnet. After we, after these guys and, and our initial launch projects are feeling comfortable on testing that, we'll probably give it about a week or two for marketing and we're going live. You know, we expect to be live, uh, by Thanksgiving. So, um, if everything goes well, we'll, this thing will be live before Thanksgiving. Hey, cause did you go over the, uh, referral system? Yeah, yeah. So, so affiliate program. One of the cool things that we're offering is an awesome uh, affiliate program, where basically if you refer someone to Jumpstart and they they launch a successful campaign and and it funds, um, you will actually be able to earn ten percent of whatever fees we collect. So, for example, if we collect ten thousand dollars off a campaign in fees, um, you'll you'll get one thousand dollars, which is which is amazing. So, um, if you if you if if this, if you see, if you like what you see, if you think you have an idea, or you know someone that has an idea, to to start a business or a project or or raise any kind of money with cryptocurrency, um, simply refer them to us, have them let us know, and you will get a ten percent commission. That's huge, especially with some of like uh, these projects. The amount of money and revenue they can bring in, that percentage will be huge. If you find a lot of different people to bring in. That itself can pay you. Being the middleman is always a good play. Yeah, I mean, I think I think these really, really a good NFT project. These guys are averaging, you know, millions of dollars on mint, and um, you know, five percent of that is fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in fees collected, and I mean, ten percent of that is five thousand to ten thousand dollars. So I mean, we we have a we have a decentralized self service crowdfunding platform where we can all come in and use raise money for whatever project we want and collect a fee on referrals. We can pay ourselves to, to basically, you know, create value for other people. And, and we're really excited. And one of the key features we didn't talk about is that you can actually create private uh, campaigns. So you can make this entire thing private and have a whitelist. And so if you're doing a, let's say you have a private DAO and you want to do a private raise, you can do that. And you can launch your NFT campaign. I, I heard, I heard there was a really big project and they're about to do an NFT campaign. And I mean, these are the kind of guys we're going to be going after and saying, hey, why don't you do your NFT campaign on Sidekick? You can create it in minutes and it works perfectly. And that's basically what we're going to be going over the next you know, month and a half is we're, we're, we're coming out of the dev shop and we're going into a full on sales and marketing mode. And we're going to be trying to get people raising campaigns. And I mean, Sidekick's going to be launching a campaign. I know Sign Trade wants to launch a campaign. And we have a dozen other people with different ideas that we want to curate and get them launching campaigns. Uh, 
Uh, can't wait. And so, I'm yeah, I mean, super excited. Stuff. We're, you know, we're going to have a, a revenue generating product that has nothing to do with taking user deposits. We're offering a service and, um, it's the first sidekick service and we're really proud of it. And yeah, we're going to be going hard in the paint guys. Yeah, no, I look forward to using it myself. Um, and then it also is good to know that you can just click refund with one button. And in case it doesn't work out, it's just seamlessly and it's done without like any problems. Because that's one thing that um, some people may have as investors be like, well, I, I like the idea. But if you don't get the funds, then like what? At least now you know that the funds can go right back to a project if it wasn't fully funded. And then you can look into another project. Exactly. And I mean, we're going to be we're going to be showing that that funding cap, the projects that choose to go with 100 percent hard cap, meaning whatever the amount they're trying to raise, if they don't reach it, it's an it doesn't complete and they, they refund. Um, those guys will have a, a badge and they're going to be very visible. And those are the projects that are going to get the most backers. Um, so it's it's kind of a win win situation. And yeah, it's it's 100 percent held in escrow and a smart contract that's 100 percent safe. Um, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't fund a single click and everybody can go in and collect their funds. Um, and so we used a lot of the same principles we've been using in our MGEs and all the other smart contracts we've been building over the past year or so. And we threw it into jumpstart. And so it's all refined and, 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 and tuned and, and worked really well. Should we open up for questions? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Either type it out. Um, we have uh, on the section right there, you can write your comments. Yep. Um, so one big thing that we're going to be starting is we're going to actually start doing our, finally, we're going to start doing paid ads. We're going to be pushing ads on all the major social networks um, and platforms, crypto platforms, and really promoting Jumpstart with paid ads. Um, we are going to be trying to get back with our partners and trying to let, let our partners know exactly how this can help them. Um, and we, you know, we've already been getting some interest from, from some partners and we're just super excited to go get more. Uh, you know, with Jumpstart, we have a tool and a service that we can offer everybody. And it's, you know, we're not really, it's, it's a win for them. And if anyone supports Psychic, it's a win for them as well. Nice. Um, any questions in, in the chat? Give them that. I'm not seeing any in the chat, and I don't think there's anyone. Oh, everyone's muted. Okay, I wasn't sure if we're doing the raise hand. But yeah, the aim is recorded, so uh, feel free to go back. There was a lot of information shared, but everything was right there, um, so you can get an idea on exactly how to do it yourself, how to mint, how to refund, how to look at the transaction. What time is it? All right, it is 5.30. So also um, signed AMA is gonna start soon. So if everybody wants to head over there as soon as we close this up, I know You'll they also have some. Oh, that's right, because we're being here. That's right. Okay. okay. And listen, man, this is the first of many AMAs. We're gonna really start jump starting our amas again um we, we're finally you know coming out that dev that dev cycle and ready to kind of engage again so um yeah just stay on the lookout this is supposed to be a short quick demo and um yeah we can close it off and head over to sign cool. um does that want to just take over here That's... yeah uh i've been promoting this space is where i would be doing my ama um yeah was it, it is i would be taking it okay so i'll just take it over from yeah. here um, the jumpstart looks really cool, Kaz. I'm very excited to work with you on that. I think it's going to be huge for Sidekick. And on our campaign, we're definitely going to be taking our funds in Sidekick. So very, very excited to see that. Um, and it's going to be huge for Sidekick as a whole. Okay. So can everyone hear me and see my screen? Yeah, man. All right, perfect. Yep, clear so and see your screen. screen. Everything I'd like to just kind of go over the timeline of sign and where we've been since pre-sale. And I know I haven't talked uh, vocally with investors in a minute, so I'd just like to go through a bunch of things. So 
Those who have been here since the pre-sale remember this web page when we first launched only had one token, the sign token. There were no musician tokens in February of this year, and I'm proud to say that we now have 43 different musician tokens on here and 50 mis- musicians signed as of today. Um, each token has their own fan base of investors. They have their own liquidity pool and all of their own staking mechanisms. We've distributed over 235 different tracks, and we are near, we're hitting 2 million streams within the next couple of days. We had no music out at the beginning of the year, and we're now hitting 2 million streams, put out 237 tracks, have 50 different musicians signed. With more and more musicians, the growth in our streams is exponential, along with the payouts that will come with it. Royalties continue to be more and more with every single pump. Um, every stream that pays, it uh, pays out adds to the total market cap of the signed market, as you can see up here. Now, for the ETF investor, this is huge. This market cap is essentially what you are investing in as an ETF investor. And, of course, you can cash out at any point in time or stake each musician token to remain to earn additional royalties from all the musicians on the market. Um, so this total market cap of around 300 K about 100,000 of that is coming from the musician tokens. And I'm expecting to see a huge return for ETF investors. Once this market cap is overtaken from the musician token and isn't majority of the signed token itself. I expect that this will happen once we have a hundred musicians on the platform. And I, I expect that ETF investors will see a huge return. Once the market tech cap is majority from the musician tokens, then those who are investing into the sign and have enough in the tier system will be taking on huge rewards as people are going to rush in and want to have a piece of that ETF as well. Um, with the ETF now completed, redirection is fully on recruiting again. I know getting musicians has been a little bit slower than it was earlier in the year, but that's because we've been putting in a lot of work on this ETF. But now we're putting full direction back on getting musicians. We have a lot of people who want to join. 100 musicians by end of year, and that is for sure. Um, I know in our original white paper, we said $1 price point by the end of the year. Market conditions did not help us much. Um, you know, Matic was at a price of $1.50 when we launched. It's about $0.75 cents right now, seventy-five seventy-nine. But the good news is that Sign has done very, very well in the bear market, and we've received more buys in the past two months than ever before. If we were at the initial prices we were when we launched, the price point of sign would be around $0.45, cents, higher than would it be a private sale price. Um, and I'm sure most of you know projects that do well in the bear market do amazing in the bull run. So I'm very excited for that to happen. And we continue to build and grow in the bear market. And uh, it's going to be just a rocket once we get out of it. Um, all the liquidity that's added into the market from royalties is added in the bear market. So I want everyone to remember that as well. Royalties are purchased with Matic, and they back each independent musician token with that Matic. So we're getting Matic for super cheap right now at like $0.75 cents a share. We're backing every single musician token with this super cheap Matic, and it keeps coming in during this bear market. We keep filling it with more and more royalties. So once that bull run comes again, all the musician tokens, three to five times gain, where Matic is at a price point of 3 to $5 in the next run. And of course, ETF investors are just taking home a huge chunk of money without even having to sell off their sign. So, you know, it's just an easy uh, an easy gain for those who are invested in the ETF. Um, so now I'll get into the ETF and just kind of show how that functions. So every single token on here, every single time there's a buy, sell, or transfer of any of these different individual tokens, there's a 10% tax. That 10% tax is paid out to ETF holders in the musician's native token. So someone buys or sells piss coin, you get a little piss. <laughs> or the smoke coin, you know, or the one-man coin. All these different coins, you get paid directly when people are trading it. 1% of the total supply of all the musician tokens on the market go to ETF investors. So even if there is no activity, you are still getting paid in musician tokens that you can choose to stake and, res- you know, can receive the passive income on from royalties or sell off for a quick buck. And if a musician raises under $3,000, that 1% goes up to 30% of the total supply. So if a musician only raises a dollar, ETF investors are getting 300,000 or 30% of the total supply given to them over six month period. So you get a large chunk in every single musician. Let's say a musician only raises like $2, like uh, YMB, but he's got a whole album on here. If YMB were to do very well in the future, you're basically getting a huge share 
and his performance in the future without having to give up anything or risk any stake. You get to invest in the entire market. You don't have to pick which musician you think will blow up. And as we get more and more musicians on there, that reality becomes more and more. Uh, the chances go higher. Um, as we can already see with Joey, the album we put out is doing very well. He's um, about to have a thousand dollars of royalties that paid out to investors, and you know royalties are consistent passive income. It'll just be pretty much that amount forever. Um, every musician token is a share in the royalties, right? So every single token that you get, you basically have the power to liquidate the Matic or stake to earn on royalties. Uh, with the growing market, ETF is going to be sure. Um, and getting into the ETF and how it functions, we'll talk about that now. This is time's been going up the past couple of months, doing well. So I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the tiered system, but it is a five tiered system. How this works is in the tier one, if you are in this, you share 5% of the ETF rewards pool with all of the investors, tier two, 10%, tier three, 15%. Tier 4, 30%, and Tier 5, 40%. Now, the way that the, it is designed is that the larger of a bag holder you are, the more valuable your tier will be in the future. As the more expensive sign gets, the more difficult it will be to climb into each new tier pool. And the lower the tier, the 5%, will become less and less valuable because more investors will go into this pool. Sharing that 5% will be split up as much as possible. Whereas the 40% will be very difficult to split with as 50,000 sign becomes more and more expensive as more and more investors want a piece of the ETF. Um, so, you know, the ETF heavily rewards investors with large bags. Um, so I also want to show you guys today the different smart contracts that are involved. So this is the fee splitter smart contract. I just emptied it. So there isn't much in here, but every single time, there is a buy, sell, or anything. It goes into here, and it's emptied and paid out to the ETF smart contract, which is this one. Now, in here, these are all the different tokens that come from the weekly rewards, the fees, and um, the royalties go here as well in Matic. So this pool, as it continues to grow and grow, that percent that's split here is from this pool. This is what is the shared pool. Now, because I am the only tier five investor as of right now, I get 40% of everything in here. So I have a huge advantage right now by being the only tier five investor. Uh, that's why I wanted to show all of you and demonstrate the power of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit claim my tokens. And being a tier five investor, I'm going to see 40% of all the rewards that are in that pool. We wait for the contract to go through. And remind you, this is only from one round of rewards and only about two weeks in fees. And the first round of rewards was only one seventh of what it's going to be in the future. Give it a second to go through. And these are all the rewards that we're gonna see here. There's 42. All of this <clears throat> I get, and all of this, keep in mind, all of these tokens you can liquidate for cash. Or I can choose to restake them back into the market and begin earning on their royalties. And like I said, this is the first round of rewards. That was one-seventh of what it's going to be going forward. Another round's coming out today. This is only two weeks from fees. Now imagine that value when we're at 100 musicians by the end of the year, and then try and imagine again in a year from that, from the end of this year, when there are at least 200 musicians on the platform. The value of this ETF is going to be exponential, um, and I just want to let everyone know about it before it's too late. <laughs> Signed is at a price right now where it's not going to sit for much longer. Um, so now is the best time to get into it. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover. I don't know if anyone has any questions for me, but yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. That looks awesome. Yeah, super excited to see all the progress over at Sign Trade, man. And uh really, you know, really, really anxious to see how this all plays out over the next year. This is this is awesome. 
Thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, very excited to see where we're going to be. And even just another year from today, we've done so much and the time that we've had just in this year, um, and we have a lot to finish by the end of the year. Um, yeah. When did you say the uh, ETFs go live? The ETF is already live. It's already live. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, no. We need to have at least 5,000 stakes signed to qualify. In order to get into tier one, you don't get any of the rewards if you don't have 5,000. Now, if you own under 5,000 signed, this, this update is good for you regardless because, you know, the value of sign will go up as it has a much higher use case now. Um, but yeah, you need at least 5,000 stakes signed to qualify. I'm currently the only tier five, um, but I know that there are potential sharks in the water who would will and want to join me. But um, so I get the full 40% as of now. There are two in tier four, and I'm not sure about the rest. So as more and more people get into it, um, more. But like I said, you know, tier one is going to be the one that most people can afford. So it's going to be split up the most. So the bigger bag you have, it rewards you the most. Um, and passive income from all the tokens. How much is uh, each tier like USD value right now? Let me see. Um, let me see here. So 5,000 signed, it's about... It's like 5,500. So should be about... Yeah, about 1,200. I would say about twelve hundred dollars to get into the first tier. Yeah, about. Um, okay, I see. Five, yeah, five thousand stakes signed, and right now it's at one point six seven. Also, I'm sure most of you know this, but when you stake your sign, it's also getting the passive income elite rewards from transaction fees for the sign token. So you're also earning sign by staking it as well. You're not just getting ETF, but you're also earning more sign as you have it staked. Um, but yeah, it's uh, that's something we should build in here is to make it show exactly how much sign it is for the stake. But you need 50,000. I mean, 5,000 to begin receiving the rewards for the right? first tier. I see. You get everything, every single transaction that ever happens on this market forever. It's, it's, it's built into the fee splitter and the weekly rewards. So, I mean, this market's going to continue growing. I know that for a fact. Um, and when we go into the bull run, you're going to really wish that you had were able to get this ETF at this price point. So, you know, this is the cheapest this is ever going to be. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> just wanted to show everyone that and like just show how it functions. And we're also working on something right now where we are going to have a UI for the wallet for users. So it's going to be way easier to navigate this. I know it's a little clunky right now. Um, I mean, it works, which is the most important thing, but we're going to make it so that you click a button up here that says wallet, and it's going to display all of your different assets and how well they've done for you as an ETF investor. And then you can also choose if you want to stake or sell them in that same UI. That's the next big update we're working on. It's going to be really, really helpful for the ETF investor. But as of now, you know, you have to see what tokens you have, potentially add them to your MetaMask, or if it's easier, if you don't want to add them all, you can just go to like, the musician token and um you can see like right here like uh oh i own 332 one man it shows it on the ui already but you have to go in and you have to look at each individual one you know just kind of annoying but, you know 176 wi-fi but like i said we're working on that update where there will be a wallet up here and it will help display every single token you own and what you want to do with it if you want to collect the royalties you know if you think a musician is going to blow up it's better to stake for the royalties than to sell because the royalties will be worth a lot of money if they do perform well. Like we saw this with Joey. Um, his royalties at one point were like raising the value more than any buys were. So it's a game of uh, what musicians do you think are going to do well in the music market, you know? And with the BMI royalties coming in soon, it's going to be even more, but that's going to take a couple more months to start coming to fruition for the first round of pins to come out. Can you just explain the BMI royalties for a second? <laughs> yeah. Um, so previously we were only collecting on streaming royalties. Uh, streaming royalties are when someone gets a play on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, any kind of those things. Every single time you listen to it one time, there's a little bit of money that goes to the musician and us, um, depending on what the splits are. 
So if we were going to look, look at like Joey, for example, uh, if we we're going to look, actually, let me pick a better example, um, like Marlon. Um, all of these tracks, you know, 90% from this album, 15% from this single, 15% from this single, 26 this single, blah, blah, blah. That percent means every single time someone plays this song, 26% of the money made from it goes back to the investors and the liquidity of this coin. We have a custom built what is called a royalty pump smart contract. Every single musician has their own unique royalty pump smart contract. What this does is gives 50% back of the royalties earned to the investor and the musician's native token, 49% added to liquidity, 1% back to the sign investor. So 99% of it is going into the coin and then it pays out that other 50% as the musician's native token. So you as the investor, you can choose to take out of that liquidity pool by selling. That's like the way you could cash out on the royalties or you could continue to keep it staked and earn more and more shed from the royalties. So their staking ratio is based upon how much they're has uh, the music is paid out among other things, tax fees and such. Um, so the streaming royalties, like I said, was just like Apple Music, YouTube, whatever. You ask the difference with BMI. BMI is different because it uh, accrues royalties from live shows, um, radio plays. Um, like if if someone were to be playing the song at a coffee shop or something that wasn't using a streaming service. Um. It, uh, what is called um, uh, syncing royalties. So if it's ever used in a movie or any kind of video or anything, it's a big one. We get those. So it's collecting all these additional royalties. The music, if, if the DJ uses it live at a show or anything, um, you know, like it, it really brings a lot more money in on songs that do well. Joey's is going to bring in more money for sure. But that's the kind of royalties that really makes a lot of money if the song blows up. Like to have the syncing royalties, if anyone ever wants to use that song for a movie or anything, you guys are getting paid. I mean, you know, or if it's ever played and a DJ uses it or something like that, or uh, anything like that. So it's just a whole other set of royalties that we're collecting on that aren't just from streaming services. That's good. We got um, any any more questions? Oh. Oh, I think you I think you explained that really well. It makes Thank makes you. a lot more sense to me now. Yeah, I mean, it, um, it, royalties are worth a lot of money. <laughs> If uh, if a movie ever wants to use any of your music or anything, you know, it's like that's millions of dollars. But you know, you have to get a musician who blows up to that level. But you never know. The more musicians you have on a market, the higher the chance. And if you're an ETF investor, you don't have to guess. Yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. Do you have uh, many more musicians lined up now? Do I have a uh, what? Sorry many more musicians lined up oh, yeah. uh so we just signed on four more musicians we just started a pre-sale today for this guy j2 flex uh, there he is 11 dollars raised um so we have one two three four more musicians coming on board so we're going to be breaking the 50 musicians signed here soon um, and like I said, I'm redirecting all my focus back on recruiting and getting more musicians on there. The more musicians on there is the best for the platform because, I mean, a musician is really – their music is consistent passive income, which is best for their own token and also best for the signed ETF investor and everyone in general. So the more people we get on there, the more consistent passive income streams we have, the higher the chance of those consistent passive income streams being worth a lot of money. Um, so, like, you know, my end goal is to have, like, thousands of musicians on here. It's going to take time. Like I said, in February, there were no musicians on here. So we're, we're, we're growing at a good rate. And we finally found our bottom after a couple months of getting kicked in the ass. But we're finally, you know, coming back up. Um, and with this ETF investment, I don't see any, I don't see any downward spiral for sign here on out. It's only uphill. Nice. Heck yeah, man. So, I mean, and we're going to keep, like I said, guys, we're going to kick the AMAs up. We're going to have more and more AMAs. 
Um, I think we should do some cool signed listening parties and just kind of check out the latest from signed trade musicians. Um, and we're going to be really engaging a lot more with the community. So, um, yeah, this is, this is awesome stuff. Um, I think we're going to try to wrap this up real quick um, and get it, get out of here before the end of the hour. Um, and I think Dabs, you can take over, man, and we can do a little sidekick giveaway. Yep. So we got a little giveaway we're going to do. Um, if you guys go over to the sidekick channel on Twitter, just give us any of your ideas that you guys would think of to jumpstart um, any product that you think you could start and the best one, we're going to send some sidekick to them. So just go over to the Twitter page and also post it uh, on our channel over here. But that's all you got to do. And we'll have a winner. Um, what do you guys say? 24 hours or you want to do a little bit more than that? Yeah, that's perfect. It's perfect. And I mean, so some of the awesome. ideas that we already got is we got people who want to create private DAOs um, with, with Jumpstart. We got people who want to fund real estate purchases. Uh, we have people who want to make video games. They want to create a video game with Jumpstart. Um, we have people who want to keep, they want to fund their platform. The rest, of, so for example, like Sidekick, we want to run a fundraiser to fund the next phase of development. Um, and I know Sign Trade wants to run a fundraiser. I mean, the ideas are endless, guys. So yeah, go on there, post post some some co concepts and ideas you think would be a cool thing to kickstart or jumpstart, and um, yeah, we'll do some giveaway. Cool. Well, uh, let's let's end this here then. And um, yeah, thanks for coming on, Carl's and Ashton. And we'll start doing yeah. these more. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice talking yeah, to you guys. Nice 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 we'll share the link and everything. Cool. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. See you later, guys.